Ladies and gentlemen, right now it's the 9th of March 2016 and I'm going to do a special video blog today. It's a little bit different because it's on a subject that uh, just came up recently. I saw so much communication on it and I figured I'd take a moment to show you why some people are successful and some people aren't based on this one little thing. Very recently there was a picture of Kim Kardashian on Facebook and she was naked, standing in front of a mirror, yet blacked out the, her boobs and her vagina, and she was naked taking a picture of herself. I saw many women post that picture with a lot of negative comments. Whore, slut, blah, blah, blah. I then took the picture and I posted it, and I called out all the women on their jealousy, their insecurity, <clears throat> and basically their negativity. And I showed um, how beautiful Kim looked in the picture and how much I appreciated it and the fact that she had the, uh, the confidence to do that. I thought it was very positive. Then the comments started coming. Naturally, uh, many people agreed with me. And then there was this covert, which means sneaky, underhanded disagreements that came up. So I'm going to like to take a moment and address this and, and show you why some people win in life and are successful and some don't, just based on this. Okay, so take close attention. Ladies, if you're watching, I need you to get closer. Open up your ears because I'm going to educate you on life, success, the mind, communication, and everything else. So listen carefully to me. Okay, it goes like this. What are some of the more docile objections, docile, um, tame objections that I heard? Here's one that was common. Well, she could do whatever she wants with her body. If you don't have the brains, you might as well use your body. So we're going to talk about this for just a second. First of all, you as a woman, if you're making statements like that, you have to understand something. You're being very negative. Very, very negative. That is your state of mind. You are passing judgment and saying, that that woman that you have no idea, you not, none of you have ever sat down with Kim, had a conversation, been in her house, know anything about her besides her TV personality, and you're you're saying that she must she must not be smart because she's beautiful. Now you got to understand the underlying premise. This is what I do. The underlying idea is that because she's beautiful and puts her picture up like that, because of that. She must not be smart. So naturally, she's doing that to make money. And that is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. So ladies, I have a suggestion for you. Why don't you get rid of the negativity that you have and keep it more positive and see how beautiful she looks in that picture. Two, the idea that again is underlying that is this. That, well, if you don't have brains, might as well have that beauty. As if, as if it is simple to be that beautiful. Now, I make a living out of making women beautiful and confident and giving them their power back. This is what I do. I do it every every day. I do it and you can see it on my Facebook all the time. This is what I've done for years and I'm very good at it. I'm the best at it in the world. I know this. Let me tell you something. Any woman who's making a comment that, oh, you know, look at her, just her looks. I would like you to post a photo of how good you look naked. Forget it. Put on a t-shirt and jeans. You see, it is so difficult for a woman to look that beautiful. It is so difficult for a woman to look that beautiful that it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of focus, a lot of energy to continue to look that beautiful as your age goes up. So let's not knock it and once again, ladies, take that negativity out of your head and keep it positive. Keep it empowering. Keep it inspiring. Here you had an opportunity to be inspired and empowered by another woman who you don't know. And what you do is you throw hate her way because of your own insecurities. But you know what? It doesn't end there. Then we get to the subject of what about her kids? How is she going to explain that to her kids? Let me explain something to you. If you're making those comments, 
you need to take a look at a few things in your life. One, are you still with your child's father? Because you have some explaining to do. Which is way beyond taking a picture of your beautiful body when you are an entertainer. You see, the explanation that you owe your children is greater than, oh, I took a naked picture. There's a lot of positivity in that. Confidence. Sexiness. Your dad knows about it. There's so many things I can go in there. However, what you need to describe and explain to a child is why mom and dad decided to bring a child into the world and could not work out their differences. Maybe dad was not such a great person. And then mom would have to describe why mom decided to have sex with not such a great person and have a child with not such a great person. Because so many deadbeat dads, in quote, are out there, yet we forget that you had sex with them and you had their goddamn children. So, the explanation of why she took a naked picture would be the same explanation if you were a stripper, a porn star, or a movie star, and you had to do a role like that, or you were just a figure that was that was sculpted in in uh, in a, in, a um, in stone or something. It's the it's the human body. Explanation. I'm sure she can figure it out. The next thing that goes under that is why are you so concerned about how she's going to explain it to her children. And I'll tell you why. Because you're being very negative again. And you're wondering why your life is so terrible. Because you can't keep it positive, can you? You can't keep it positive. I mean, someone could give you a million dollars and then you say, man, you know what? Now everyone, uh, you know, is going to judge me or whatever. Look, here was an opportunity for you to celebrate another beautiful woman who is succeeding in certain areas. Again, we don't know her. We can say for sure she's beautiful because we can observe it. We can say for sure that she is married with children and her husband is still there. We can say that for a fact. We can also say for a fact that she is financially secure. Now, those three things, if any of you women that are talking shit were able to say about your life, which is you look beautiful, you're with your husband who has, you have a child with, and you're financially secure. If you could say all three of those things, I would be very proud of you, and so you would be proud of yourself too, and, and your children would be proud of you also. See, the problem is this, is that you're looking at that picture and you're jumping on this herd mentality. Oh, this and that, and oh, the one more thing comes up, one more thing comes up. Oh, anybody with plastic surgery, I guess, if you're going to buy a body like that. No, let me explain to you again. Plastic surgery will augment your breasts, maybe get rid of some lipo section here and add here and there. But I've seen a lot of women with plastic surgery and a very, 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 very small percentage actually look beautiful. And you know this too. Otherwise, there will be so many beautiful women walking around all over the place. And if you're saying, well, I would never cut this and that, no one really cares. You see, and that's the difference is that she is actually famous. She is actually famous. You go, well, she's famous for making a sex tape. That's not true. You make a sex tape. You make a sex tape. I have seen videos, enough videos of men and women having sex that I know, and none of them are world famous because nobody wants to look at their nasty asses fucking. You see that? Oh, she made a sex tape. Once again, they say it as if anybody can do it. Now, let's just say, let's just say that was the reason why she got famous. Well, God bless her. God bless her for finally taking advantage of having sex and getting something for it besides some dick. Think about what I just said. How many men have you had sex with who have recorded you or took a picture of you and you got jack shit for it? Wouldn't it be great if you became a multi-millionaire because you made a sex tape? I would never do that. Again, that's your, that's your choice. We're not here to do what you're doing to somebody you don't know, which is saying how terrible she is because how beautiful she looks and she has something that you wish you had. Now, if this video blog is pissing you off, that's okay because the difference is I've now given you a positive 
uh, interpretation and a positive experience of a beautiful woman putting her picture up that me as a man and every other man in the world that I know thinks she's absolutely beautiful and we would love to have her company. Every one of us, including your boyfriend and your husband, that's us. You got it? And all the secure women that I know, beautiful secure women that I know, would love nothing more than to have someone like that in their life as a friend because she's successful, she's beautiful, and she's been judged more times than you will be judged in the next four lifetimes of your life. And she's still living her life. So, there's a lot to learn in this about yourself. Go to take a look in the mirror. Tell yourself to keep it positive. Stop putting up memes about negativity and you want to get rid of negative people and this and this and that. You are that negative person. And by chance, if you're watching this and you appreciated her beautiful picture as a woman, then congratulations. You are the people that I like to have around me. And men, you know how it is, okay? If you're watching this and you're one of those kind of men who just like, I don't care what a woman looks like. You know, you're not a man. I don't want to know you. Fuck off as soon as you can. You are a complete pussy, okay? All right, this is Rosh Deep Bazaar. Be the best, fuck the rest. I am C Nation. I hope you enjoyed it.